Hey everyone, I'm Chef Tom with All Things Barbecue, and today I'm bringing you a savory smoked pork loin. All right, so pork loin. It's a super accessible piece of meat. You can find it at pretty much any grocery store. Uh, it's fairly affordable. It's a really nice and lean meat, and it, it can be very tender if it's cooked properly. Uh, there's a thousand ways to prepare the pork loin. Today I'm gonna show you one of them. So let's get in here and trim this thing up, and I'm gonna show you a couple of really cool tricks for a nice savory pork loin dish. So this is about a four to five pound roast. You can see we've got a fat cap on this side. This probably came somewhere from the center of the uh, loin itself. You can see we've got all pink meat on this end, and then down here it starts to taper off and another muscle comes in and we've got a darker meat. And what we're gonna do is just take this fat cap off. If you guys can see this really stringy stuff right here, that's silver skin and it's really chewy and it's not pleasant to eat, so we're gonna get down and take that off of there. All right, so I'm sliding my knife in underneath the silver skin, nice and shallow because I don't wanna lose too much meat. Cut myself a tab, pull up on that, and then try to keep the knife blade facing up so we don't gouge the outside of the roast too much. All right, so where these two muscles meet, we've got some fat and some silver skin under there, but we don't wanna lose this meat, so we're gonna go ahead and start trimming on the top of that. All right, so the fat cap's cleaned up pretty well. Let's just flip it over, take a look at the bottom. See that flap? That's just gonna burn when we cook it, so we'll take that off. But this, uh, this bottom side, there's very little to clean up on. Now I said I had a couple cool tricks for you today. One of the things that I wanna show you is how to stud this thing with garlic. We're actually gonna cut down and make some pockets in here and insert whole cloves of garlic throughout this roast. So I've blanched my uh, cloves of garlic to soften them up a little bit, just in a little bit of hot water. And that's to make sure that they are uh, not rock hard when we're done because they don't cook an awful lot once they get inside the roast. What I'm gonna do is take my knife, make a little slit, go about half to two thirds of the way down. And then we'll take a clove of garlic and insert that in there. So we'll just kind of work in a grid pattern, continue to do this throughout the roast. If you've got some fatter cloves of garlic, you can cut those in half. All right, we've got our roast loaded up with garlic, so let's get it seasoned and then we'll get it on the smoker. All right, we're gonna be using the House of Q Slow Smoke Gold Mustard Sauce as both kind of a slather to attach the rub and as a finishing sauce today, as well as the grunt rub from Code 3 Spices. This stuff's really garlicky, it's low on salt, so it's gonna be perfect for our savory pork loin. All right, so we're not gonna go too heavy on this. We do want to get a good layer of it spread all over the loin. And like I said, we're going to come back when this thing's almost done and kind of glaze the loin with this mustard sauce to finish it up. All right, so we get it seasoned on all sides. We're not gonna go too heavy, but we do wanna get some flavor on there. And then let's just kinda let this tack up to the roast for about five minutes before we throw it on the smoker. And the rub's all set up and the roast is ready to go onto the smoker. Speaking of which, we've got our Yoder Smokers YS640 pellet grill. It's preheated to 225 degrees. So let's get this on there. Now, as usual, we are running cherry and pecan pellets today. We really like the flavor and the uh, visual combination that that gives us on the outside. We get a little color, we get a nice nutty flavor, but it's not overpowering. And we are running this down at 225, so we'll get some good smoke flavor on it. Let's close this thing up, let it work its magic. Well, we're about three hours into our smoke and I'm pretty confident that it's got a lot of smoke flavor on it. But what I wanna do now is add a little bit of the mustard on once again 
kind of glaze that up and crank the temperature up to 400 degrees so we can get a really nice crusty finish on this. You could totally finish this out at smoking temperatures and it would taste great, but just for the sake of getting a nice glaze on the outside, we're gonna turn it up. And the best part is we'll get to eat it a little sooner. So after another 45 minutes or so on the cooker, we're looking at 140 degrees internal temperature in the center. And that's gonna come up about five degrees to 145 right where we want it after we pull it off the pit. You can see we've got a really nice crust going on. And this should be ready to pull off and rest. You wanna give your roast about 20 to 30 minutes to rest, just loosely tinted in foil. And then you're ready to slice. So here we can see where we get some of our garlic there in the middle. And if we squeeze this, you'll see just how much juice is still running through there. It's nice and tender. Now we've all had some dried out pork at home probably where, you know, it looks really stringy and it's just impossible to cut through. But this stuff is just super tender. I mean, you can cut right through it with a fork. And it's just super juicy inside. I mean, that's perfectly cooked pork. And all the great flavors from the mustard and the garlic are combining for a really fantastic, savory pork loin. Now there's a number of ways you could serve your pork loin. You could dice it up and toss it into a salad. Uh, you could serve it just like this as steaks or, you know, on top of some rice. It's a really great, healthy, lean meal that's packed full of flavor. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, if there's anything you'd like to see, as always, you can let me know in the comment section down below. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to thesauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.